China's National People's Congress opened its annual parliamentary sessions on Monday, and it has pledged to boost defense spending this year while keeping its economic growth target at 6.5 percent. And the legislators there cheered the unlimited role for President Xi Jinping. Our Kwon Jang Ho tells us more. The second of the two sessions, or Lianghui Gathering, opened on Monday. Premier Li Keqiang began by announcing the government's economic growth target for the upcoming year. Beijing had decided to maintain its growth target at around 6.5 percent for a second year running. That comes despite the country's economy exceeding expectations last year, hitting 6.9 percent growth. The conservative target is seen as a signal that the government is trying to rein in the nation's spending, reduce debt and improve overall financial stability. We must remain committed to the general principle of pursuing progress while ensuring stability and to the new development philosophy. We must guide and stabilize expectations, improve living standards, and promote sustained health economy and social development. However, economic issues at this year's gathering have been overshadowed by political ones. Last month, Beijing announced that it will be scrapping its two-term presidential limit, clearing the way for President Xi Jinping to stay in office beyond the end of his second term in 2023. That decision is expected to be ratified during the course of the two sessions over the next fortnight. The president's political philosophy, known simply as Xi Jinping thought, is also expected to be integrated into China's constitution. These moves essentially elevate Xi to the same level as China's first communist leader, Mao Zedong, and although it has caused alarm in some circles, the two sessions is largely seen as a rubber stamping ceremony with little objection raised by the 5,000 or so delegates attending. If a good leader comes to power, we should let him remain in that leadership position forever. In this way, there is continuity. It's great. This is the choice of history. This is the choice of the Chinese people. It's what the Chinese revolutionary cause needs. I really support it. The ending of term limits and other proposed policies will be put to the vote on Sunday. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.